Hello everyone. This is my vlog for September 2022. You may be wondering why there was no video for August. It's because everyone was off doing their thing for the summer and we didn't have any updates for you. But now we can update you on September. Clearly September is a big month because we start our 202nd school year. We did also want to mention that this is a significant year of transitions. You already know by now that this will be my last year at PSD, unfortunately. But I am excited for the next chapter for PSD and the transitions that are coming. The board announced that Melissa Dragonek Hawk, who many of you already know, will be taking over as the interim head of school after I leave. What that means for this coming year is that we will be in transition. I will be working with Melissa as my interim associate head of school for now. We have already decided that she and I will share in supervision of the E-team, four E-team members each, until January when Melissa will become the primary supervisor for all of them and I will be playing a support role to her. I don't want to spend too much time fixating on the transition because there are other exciting updates to share with you. Last week, we welcomed back our staff in person for the first time in three years for orientation. It was great to meet in the gym and see everyone here. We had a week full of trainings, sharing information, various meetings to get ready for the new school year. This week, we finally have our students back on campus as well. That is also very exciting to have all of our students back in person. We're thrilled to welcome them back. Some of our students we haven't seen since June and others we did see over the ESY program in July. Either way, we're ready to gear up for a new exciting school year. I've been getting some questions about whether or not people can be visiting campus. For the near term, and this is not permanent policy, we are still limiting visitors to come to campus. You can make requests, but we're prioritizing visitors who are donors or funders and giving special permission on case-by-case -case basis for people to come to campus. We are excited to open the campus fully for one day, October 1st, for our homecoming and community day. That will be very exciting. Our sports team will be playing against the Rochester School for the Deaf, and Rochester will be coming here to compete both in volleyball and soccer. So that day, everyone and anyone is welcome to come to campus for an exciting community day. For more information, please look at our website. We do have updates there. That's not all the news I have to share. October 1st will be homecoming, but if you stick around through that weekend from Saturday to Monday, you can be here for our golf outing, Monday, October 3rd. Those details are also on our website. I'm anticipating more people turning out this year. The last couple of years have been a little less predictable, in part because we did have the event last year, but prior to that had to put it on hold due to COVID. We're bringing back the golf outing again this year, and we're excited to have other schools for the deaf come and participate. We've agreed that PSD will attend the golf outing for ASD in September at the end of that month. We're then looking forward to having ASD come and participate in ours in October. It's a great opportunity for schools for the deaf to join in support of the other schools. Those are the updates for September, and as always, I'll keep you posted on more to come. Take care.